Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Angie. And we are still <laughs> Adventures in Nomadness. <laughs> so today's video is about the mods that we did on this beautiful 21 Escape to make it our own. Stay tuned. Hello again. I'm here to talk about the mods because although we added a lot of options, it wasn't perfect for us the way we wanted to live and to accommodate our stuff. So stick with me as I start with the front of the RV and work through the bathroom and then on to more. The first thing we can start with is really a simple thing, which are command hooks for our keys. So we have RV keys, truck keys, um, home keys, etc. All kinds of keys. Lots of keys. So we needed a place to keep our keys that are easy to access when we're coming and going. Then there's the front door to the bathroom. No, it doesn't come this color. It's actually just a plain door, and we didn't like that for our own purposes, we decided to add a little pop to it, and so we acquired this self-adhesive wallpaper from Home Depot. And I believe we saw this, somebody else had done this and loved it, so we did it ourselves. We yes, also these are not all original ideas. We did get nope. a lot of these ideas from the forum. Some of them are original ideas, but right. not all. The other thing we added was a coat hook slash hat hook to the door. And then from here, we go inside to the bathroom itself. We added a magnifier mirror over here. We changed the shower head. And this is a... An oxygenics. Oxygenics. So it basically ha saves water. And so we went ahead and did that. We also found a couple ways to <laughs> scary, scary, <laughs> scary, happy, scary face. happy face uh, head covers to our toothbrushes that stick on. And we found this at a travel store and we thought they were hysterical, but they actually surprised me. They stayed up while we were traveling. We can leave our toothbrushes right there. They're functional and they work. <laughs> we added these stick up uh, hooks. And we got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. We also got stick up uh, baskets back here that keep some of our bathroom supplies and shower and stuff. And then we added a command hook for our shower curtain. Now you start off with a plastic shower curtain that wraps all the way around the top here. The whole purpose of having a shower curtain in here is to cover up this just this door. So what did we do? Well, we cut it. We actually replaced the plastic with a fabric when it's softer and less sort of rigid. And then we cut it in half and cut off the bottom so that it cleared the bottom shelf down here and just covers this when we close it up. So why did we do that? One, it dries faster. Two, it takes up less space. And then we added this command hook back here to hook it on and it's out of our way when you're using the toilet. We also have a command hook over here to, to store our uh, broom, <laughs> which is basically one of those handy dandy collapsible brooms that takes up less space. And then we have various toiletries items around the toilet. Can't forget artwork. Some of the artwork from home we just couldn't part with, so we added some command hooks in here. Of course, we have to take this down when we shower, but it's pretty nice when you're in here and you close the door. It's not just a blah back of a door that you're looking at. But hey, what's the most best, most best favorite mod of ours in the bathroom? Don't you hate it when you're, you're traveling and then you open the door and all your stuff falls out? And you're like, oh, <laughs> that kind of sucks. Well, because this actually really does happen. So we found uh, that someone had put some solid metal and uh, we decided to one-up him basically. We got this decorative metal from Home Depot 
And because I had some aviation snips, it was real easy just to cut these down to size and then screw them on. So we can still see what's behind here. And then every time we travel and set up and open this uh, medicine cabinet up, our stuff doesn't come flying out. So it is one of my uh, most favorite mods. So there, uh, underneath this bed, this is all storage under here. There's only one access on the outside up front there. And then there's two drawers right here. And right here we can access, but that can be a little cumbersome to try and just access those three, three spots when you have all this area in the middle here. There is a cutout here. So basically, you know, you're gonna struggle uh, to try and lift this up unless Okay, one-handed here now. I'm just lifting that up so easily. Not watching that corner. So that was no effort at all. We installed these hydraulic uh, lift. Uh, it's basically a hydraulic lift kit and did have to do a little, it's a bit of a pain. And if anybody wants me to do a video on how exactly I do it, I'd be more than happy to, uh, just because there's really kind of specific dimensions here that really aren't called out in the directions. I've installed one of these before, so I had a little bit of trial and error experience, but nevertheless, it was a lot more trial and error to get it installed on here. But I highly recommend it. You can see how much storage we have under here that's super, super easy to access now because we put the hydraulic struts on here to be able to access this. And this is all things to be able to make it more livable and efficient for us since this is our full-time home now. One of the other things that, that Rhonda took care of too, we actually painted the platform. One of the potential issues with living in an RV or just camping in it, no matter what, how you're using it is the condensation issue. So we basically uh, painted some kills along here and also added a, a waterproof mattress cover because uh, it has been known to, you know, potentially get quite a bit of moisture over here and have some mold issues. So we're trying to do whatever we can ahead of time to try and mitigate that situation. So what else do we do? How about looking at the kitchen? One of the things is putting up paper towel holder, but if you're familiar with an RV, it rolls down and a lot of this kind of thing will unroll by itself. So we got the kind with, that's ratcheting. So when you pull it, you have to pull it. You can actually hear the ratchet. It, do, it won't self unroll. So I can rip it off like that. And you don't see it actually rolling out. The other thing, we added a little fruit basket, if you want to call it that. This, these are uh, for laundering, underwear, and that kind of thing. So we took one of these and hooked it up, and we use it for our fruit. Next, we have some pock lights inside these cabinets. It's pretty easy to turn on, turn off. We also have a switch that will turn all of them on. So all of these cabinets have pock lights in them. The other big mod that took quite a bit of time is the cabinetry for our food and that kind of thing. And Angie's going to talk in more detail exactly <laughs> what she had to do to make this happen. We needed a pantry. We have all of our clothes up top here in some uh, plastic bins that worked out well. But when you're living full time in an RV, you really have to make sure you have some pantry space. This was completely blank. There was no shelves in here whatsoever. So I took some uh, thin wood, cut it out for some from shelving here, and first installed four rails here and then we're able to add one, two, three, four shelves in here. All the spices are up above here. It's not a lot of room, but I don't use spices, you know, a lot. So that's a good spot for them. And then in addition to that, we use these pull-out shelves. So this makes it, because it's pretty deep back in here, and these do go all the way back. So this is nice to be able to pull out the shelving on at least three of these shelves and then have some kind of different ways of putting our, our food in and out here and that one and then that one down here and then we do really keep everything in in sealable containers as much as possible just in case some friendly little miceys decide that they want to come visiting there's one side note we do put these in to prevent anything from sliding out of the cabinets and then down below here is just some extra um, stuff that we don't hardly ever use 
And, you know, trying to find space for th those uh, items in your life that, you know, you don't want to get rid of or anything. You know, it's kind of fun to find hidden spots for them. So Anna and Nancy and Pat Benatar signed <laughs> items are part of our pantry decor at this point. And it makes it fun to open. Every time I open our pantry, I'm like, ah, oh, awesome. Hi, Anna and Nancy. Hi, Pat. <sighs> Silly, I know. <laughs> Uh, one thing that wasn't so much a, a functional thing, but was, I mean, it is in a way, but again, this, the paneling here just was straight wood paneling. So when you have wood, 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 wood everywhere, it gets to be a little much. And it was nice to balance off the stainless steel of the hood here with some metal. This was really easy to do. These basically just pop right off the trim around here. Easy, pleasy, and then we're just able to pull the wood paneling out. Uh, so we went and bought some sheet metal again from Home Depot, and then I just cut them out with some aviation snips and was able to put that back. This is galvanized steel, so it is metallic, and all of our magnets fit on here, which is nice too because it gives you a little extra decor and it's not as boring as the wood paneling that was on here. Uh, this is a lot of fun, and I really love this because it makes it look a little more high end. So, what else did we do? Well, Angie mentioned the pull-out drawers. We have more pull-out drawers. So down here we have some of our pans that slide out. I also added some non-skid. We use it between the pans to keep them protected. And over here, I have some non-skid. Any place where we have things just standing up. It just helps it from moving around and we have another slide out. And one thing too, we I had bought these um, spice holders and I didn't really like them. I originally had them up there, uh, decided not to use them because the, the spice containers themselves were just a little too fat, but I kept a couple of them and put them down here. And this turns out this is a perfect place just to wad up or fold up, you know, a couple of beer koozies and all of our uh, pot holders and napkins and stuff. And they fit perfectly right there. So it was kind of a, spur of the moment sort of uh, genius thing that happened. Genius thing. <laughs> now it's creativity, creativity from whatever you have, you make it into something else, reusing something. Moving into the dinette area, we have two magazine holders, one on each side. So we can put any of our notepads, etc., in here. We have a couple of clear plastic holders for computing information or computer pieces like plugs etc and then on each side we have a couple of cup holders hey, so in our dinette we actually have a lot of space back in here for storage too so we can just lift this right up and this lifts up but we do have some components in here like the inverter and we really needed to find a way to store a stuff store a couple of things in here without sliding around all over the place and hitting the inverter and you know just hitting all the wires and cables back in here so i mounted a, a file box and basically all of our files in, are in here and i'm not going to open that up but and then we have another container right over here so this is a really great way of being able to store our office supplies we have some extra paper and any of our files that we wanted to, to store back in here oh heck i will open that up so that works out really well those are the mods we've done so far to make our space a little bit more livable and functional for us. So if there's mods that you've done that you want to share, please leave us comments below because we'd love to hear them. And if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again and check out our next video. Have a great day. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> hello. I'm back again to talk about. Ready? Is that better? Here, I can hold it. If you're going to do yourself, I'll hold it. Just, no, just to start. Okay, just to start. Then. Okay, this is hilarious. Okay. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. We are. Bleh. We are what? <laughs> we blah? Are blah. We're blah. <laughs> Even though we've made a shitload of mods to yeah. this RV. Take two. About okay. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs>